What's up, everybody? All right, so today we are doing an operator guide on Cade. We're going to be talking about how to play Cade, what his utility does, and some spots how you can use your utility, and how to position yourself and your general role as Cade. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, so now we're going to be talking about his loadout. So this is Cade's loadout. So we're starting with his primary. We have the AUG A3 as well as the TSG 12. So this is a slug shotgun so honestly i would say that this is more of a meme weapon you can occasionally get away with using this shotgun if you need to make like rotates or whatever but more times than not the aug a3 is a very good gun in all aspects and you have the 1.5 scope on this as well so hey the aug is personally what i like to use going to the secondaries you have the 44 mag the auto and the revolver so both are fairly good at making rotates. I personally like the revolver because I don't, I don't like the scope because you can't take the scope off. So if you do like the aspect of having a scope on your sidearm, maybe it's the sidearm for you, but I personally just enjoy the revolver. Uh, I make kill holes with this, it's, it does me well. And then you have a nitro and barbed wire. This should be pretty self-explanatory, but obviously you bring the nitro. The nitro, you're gonna be able to do a lot of vertical play as well as if you need to make an emergency rotate or whatever you gotta do. The night plant, etc. Nitro is going to be better. A lot of other operators can bring barb. You can bring a nitro. All right, now we're gonna talk about Cade's utility, which is the electric claw. So it's one of the only gadgets that has a perimeter that it will activate and it will get everything in its radius. So uh, why get everything, I mean, if you throw it in the middle of three walls, it will electrify all three walls. Bandits, you'll have to bandit every individual wall. Mute jammers, I mean, mute jammers, you can place them in the middle, but much cause you can get three pieces of utility. You can also get barbed wire if you have barbed wire or shield. You can use it in multiple different ways, but most of the time you can use them on walls, or he's the one of the only operators in Rainbow Six Siege that can deny hatches. You can throw a cave claw on the hatches and you will be able to deny that hatch. They can grenade it off through the floor or they can twitch drone it or the EMP or Maverick the hatch entirely. But when it's like this, you cannot ace it. You cannot thermite it. You cannot heave on it. There are multiple ways of dealing with this, but we'll save those for the operator guides in question. But for now, this is going to keep a lot of people from opening that hatch. Well, as keeping them from opening this hatch. That's electric claw. And because the claw is throwable, you can put them in some very interesting spots. Let's say you want to keep this wall closed. What you can do, throw a cage above, and the perimeter will reach those walls, and the wall will be closed. So they can throw grenades to the drone hole. They can drive a twitch drone over here. They won't be able to deal with that wall unless they map up the wall in this entirety, or they can come up somehow and destroy the cage device. There's a lot of flexibility and creativity on keeping walls closed. So a lot of people think that Cade is more of a anchor player, but I honestly disagree. I think that he is more one of those you can play as you need. He is a three armor operator with one speed. So you are going to be limited on how much mo mobility you have, but you do have the one five in an AUG, which is very useful for pre-firing and taking pixel fight engagements. So you don't need to be afraid about swinging people. You can just swing out, take the firefights when you need to, and most of the time you'll win. But when I play Cade, what I like to do is I like to start anchoring, and if I need to go for a retake, I have the option to do so. I have a good gun, I have a nitro, I have the ability to do that. You don't want to run too far because you are going to make a lot of noise because you're, you're a thick boy. You're going to make a lot of noise. So. Staying somewhere near the site and then going for the retakes is where I've had the most success as Cade. So, when you are setting up as Cade, you're going to want to close the walls, do all the stuff you got to do with the claws, help reinforce. And then when the site's, when the round's going down, hold it down. If you feel like you need to get aggressive, don't be afraid to do so. All right, so now I want to talk about Cade tricking. So what is Cade tricking? Cade tricking is when the wall seemingly looks like the hard breach can open it. You throw another cade, and as the hard breach tries to open it, you destroy their utility. Their ace, their hibana, the thermite, etc. One thing on organ I like to do, you don't necessarily have to stand next to the wall, but if you're standing next to the wall, it's easier to hear 
with the harbinger to go with the second you hear that audio cue of them putting something on the wall the arcade should be fine a lot of times people will open the floor here all night for this a lot of times people open the floor a certain way here so like i like to throw it like when i'm cage tricking i like to throw it out of the way so like if someone is underneath they won't be able to instantly destroy it by the time i can destroy the thermite so when i'm playing oregon i audio i'm listening for audio when they're in master when they hear them start to go for the wall i'll throw my k claw from here hit the wall if they have a grenade it off or take it off i'll throw another one like so and a lot of times You'll be able to get that wall closed. Cage tricking takes practice. A lot of times you're better off just throwing a cade and just kind of forgetting. Or like for this situation, you'll throw a cade on this wall, play over here, and wait for them to get that cade off. When they, they get the cade off, throw another cade in a completely different spot, and you should be good. So let's talk about some tricky spots on Clubhouse. So put in cash. So what I like to do is you'll throw a cade here. We'll be able to deny this wall from this side. They will be able to deal with this through the drone hole, but if ADS is paired up, shouldn't be too hard to hold. Another spot. Put it right here. That will get the wall. And that is an incredibly hard K to deal with. So the really, only real option is going underneath to deal with that K or throwing grenades to the drone hole to get the K here. That will only open up this side, which will give you a lot of options swinging the breach. Down. Clubhouse. Here's another Cade. Over here. So let's say that this wall is reinforced. We'll reinforce just one side really quick, really quick so you guys can see it. Reinforce this wall. And you can throw the Cade on it directly. And yeah, that'll work. But if they throw grenades to the drone holder, etc., like they'll be able to deal with that fairly, fairly easily. What you can do, throw Cade here, boom, it's in the middle of the wall. And that will go through the floor. And it will aid the wall if you're all reinforces because you, you throw the cade and then reinforce the wall after. That's perfectly fine. And the wall will be caded. And now, even if they throw a grenade through or etc., it won't deal with it unless they go downstairs and deal with the cade. Even if they map it open, the wall will still be electrified. So if anyone tries to drive a Flores drone or whatever through this, it will still blow it up. So, this is Clubhouse. So, on Oregon, biggest wall that you can kind of be tricky with is the wall up top so what i have to do is have a mute chamber on the wall so you pay with the mute and then anytime they deal with the mute chamber i'll throw a cade from across the way on the wall sometimes i'll cade trick the ace or thermite or hibana and i'll destroy their utility a lot of times i'll keep the wall closed what you can do is it'd be a little bit trickier We'll get that wall and the wall up here. A lot of times a hard breach will bring a drone in, look, see the wall. That's fine and just assume the case underneath. A lot of time they won't go like go up and actually look up in the corner. Oh, you can even put it on the ground or whatever. Place it up there, it'll protect it more than normal. So wall will be protected, and when they start grenading the floor, like a lot of people try to grenade the floor like, like so, boom. We're gonna from underneath, but nothing happens because your caves aren't there. So, Villa, there's a couple walls that are a little tricky. So let's say you're trying to close this wall down, as well as this wall. So, we're close this so open a hole. So if I use a revolver, it's okay in there, boom, it will electrify that wall. And you can come down here. Throw a cave like so. And that will get the laundry wall. We'll let's go look at that to verify. Boom. That wall is electrified. They can throw a grenade around the corner. Won't do anything because it's over here. And this wall is completely electrified. If they throw grenades over the top, we'll go burnt down. Try to find the cave. They won't be able to. They have to go into the basement to destroy it. All right, here's another one on Villa. This is a super important cave to learn. So make sure you pay attention to this one. Wall reinforce. You throw a cave at the wall directly to get all three sides of the wall. That's easy to do. Not very tricky, but they can throw a grenade over the top. A lot of times they'll have a hole here or a hole here. A lot of times your teammates will make those to throw impacts to impact trick uh, things off the wall. But uh, what I like to do is throw a kid here. 
communicate here. So, we're gonna just put that in a sec. So, you can't shoot the Kate off from this wall. You're not gonna be able to shoot it. What you're gonna have to do is throw a nitro to destroy it. Oh, sorry, th I have a nitro. They're gonna have to throw grenades to destroy it. <laughs> or they're gonna have to go underneath and they're gonna have to blow them in the floor and they're gonna have to look straight up and shoot the Kate off. Those Kades are really strong, keeps the wall closed. Uh, kind of easy to counter, but paired with the ADS or Wumai, it can be a little annoying to actually take off the wall. If you're not in the coordinated stack, honestly, this a lot of the times this will win out. All right, so this is theme park. So a lot of times they'll open up the yellow wall. I mean, sometimes they'll open up maintenance or barrel, but there's nothing really tricky that you can do there. I mean, having a mute or bandit and having people in impact trick, that'll be more than enough. What you can do over here that makes it a little bit easier. So a cade there, as well as a cade here. Very hard to deal with cades. I mean, the only real way of getting this cade is throwing a grenade from above. That's a little tricky or throw, getting a twitch drone to deal with that cade. The only real way they can deal with this wall now is by working vert and then throwing an explosive in this corner because you won't be able to see that from above. You'll be able to op make it opening above, but you will have to throw a grenade or an explosive in the corner to actually deal with it. So this gate is extremely strong and it keeps the wall closed most of the time. A lot of times you're gonna see that this wall gets opened or this wall gets opened, but if you have these caves out on this wall, I guarantee you the wall's not gonna get open because if the yellow wall gets open, this site becomes a lot trickier because this pillar in the, in the middle of the room makes it a little easy for them to take gunfights with people in this area and they don't really have to deal with anybody over there so keep this wall close very important all right guys border so one of my favorite cade spots on this map I and mean, you can throw a cade like this and that will be fine for the wall maybe leave this cade for cade tricking but uh what you can do here we'll shut this one off well it's electrified why is that get on stairs and go find out This is a really hard cave spot to find for most people and what you can do to defend this is honestly make like a hole like here. I was one play near bottom metal if no one comes into that window. That's not what people are gonna have to do. They have to jump in this window or go through the tension or whatever and shoot this off or grenade it off or whatever. But that cave will work a lot of the time. It's, it's pretty funny when it does too. All right, next is Chalet. So a couple ways that you can defend this wall. One that I like to do, fairly easy, straightforward. That fan, Kate there, and a Kate here. Oops. There we go. And uh, most of the time, people will have to go underneath to just deal with these Kades. And uh, this Kade is a little easy to remove as well as that Kade, but if you just throw them on the wall direct, I mean, it's a little bit easier for them to deal with. Um, one tricky thing that you can do, this generally only works, I believe, one time. Throwing a cade, so you're gonna want to mark the wall here. Give a general feel for it. You're gonna throw a cade like here, right? And it'll be out of the line of sight mainly, and it'll get the wall still. And the cade here, you can throw a cade right here. It's really hard for them to see as they walk up, but most of the time, that will only work once. So, defending Chalet Basement, you can just throw a cade here. As well as a cave here, and I'll get the wall. And uh, it's really hard to deal with these caves because they're gonna have to physically walk in the room. They might be able to wall bang this if they get lucky. And if they throw a grenade this way, it will destroy this cave. So if you're feeling a little frisky, what you can do, come up here. Grab this, and you're gonna want to shove it in there. All right, you go back downstairs, and bada bing, bada boom. Probably more to the left. Crazy fix on this though. Boom.
bulge, but... And, uh, you won't really be able to get that open unless you go up top and uh, do with arcade. And if you're feeling really frisky, what you can do is you can come over here and, uh... I mean, I, I don't recommend this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. I don't, not like that. It needs to be like... Yeah, I'll throw it perfectly. I don't r realize what's going on. Yeah, so the reason why this cave works is you'll come over, they'll come over, do stuff on the wall. They're like, hey, guys, see what the cave over here. They'll come over, they realize I can't get the stuff off the wall because not that many people are going to look straight up. And as you look over from the trench, it's not on your line of sight. People will kind of look like this. I mean, yeah, you'll see like this, but it will delay some time. So, feeling really frisky? Go for that. All right, so now we're going to be talking about cafe. So, put it up top. All I have to do, the arcade, put it on the floor. It's hard for them to deal with from the window. As well as that window, they'll have to throw an explosive. It will deal with the arcade, but it makes it a little harder to find. So, now, talking about, oh, well, actually, let's grab that cave really fast because I'm I'm going to show you guys two spots. Yeah. All right. Got the kit. All right. So going back down to the basement. So there's not that many other spots on this map besides the top floor for that wall. Normally you won't bring a cave for that, but cave downstairs is really important. I'll show you guys why. So defending the freezer area and the hatch, you throw the cave right about here. I'm not really sure how to specify that. So you go up about halfway between the hatch and the wall and a little bit over the same amount uh that you went up you throw it there boom you'll get all three boom so all three are electrified they can get that from the drone hole with a grenade maybe or from above but it will slow them down in this case fairly straightforward okay in the corner this case is extremely hard to get off because Maverick is going to be necessary and they're gonna to have to throw a grenade up and it needs to explode in the middle Like it is extremely hard to get that Cade. I mean anyone that's played ranked recently It's had a Maverick try to get this Cade. I mean you probably see the Maverick blow himself up with a grenade Just throwing that utility I'd save that round Definitely not gonna hurt constant garage So you can keep your Cade in your pocket and try to Cade trick it like so As they EMP and Thatcher, Cali, pick them up, put them down over and over. You can try to juggle them like so. That goes off, pick it back up. That goes off, pick it back up. You'll be able to stop the wall. That's not an option because obviously there is yellow pressure, which you can do. I like doing this a little differently than most. I like placing it deep here so they won't be able to get it from above which will only get that wall in this cade go it very certain way hard to be spotted yep there we go i throw it like that um you can throw this cade right here on the lip to get both these walls and then throw this cade here make it even harder to get but the problem with that to me at least is uh if that cave at the lip will be able to be shot from above but the cave i just threw is won't be able to get take it out through the drone hole and you know, if you place it on the lip you'll be able to see it that cave you can still get but you literally have to be here to shoot it the one from before you can probably shoot it from here it's Kind of semantics, but this one you physically have to come up and just take it out. So it will slow them down. They'll have to take full control of the piano and your cade with a night show. So if you hear someone doing anything slick like that, I mean, don't be afraid to just <laughs> do this instead. <laughs> and then get your own cade and that <laughs> open. Yeah, don't do any of that, but uh. He has the gist. All right, defending upstairs. So you want to throw a cade on that wall. What I will do is throw a cade in the corner as much as you possibly can because people will be on the windows. We'll be able to shoot it. 
did there. And the cane here, I would probably put in the floor a little bit. But a lot of time, people will throw grenades over the top or they'll be able to see it from the window. Place it in the floor a little bit like, like so. Hide it. They will be able to destroy it if they do throw a grenade straight up over the top. Can't really hide that. So, uh, for downstairs site, a little bit more straightforward. There are two hatches. No one can get these hatches besides Cade. So it's really important to do so. They can open it with Maverick, but that's still uh, a lot of time denial. Cade here stops the, uh, this is about the, like the heart of the site. Look for rotations. Close that hatch off, helps out a lot. And this is directly above the site. So having this closed off, extremely useful. All right, so now we have Canal. So for this, most of the time you'll see the Cade playing near the site, near the wall. And honestly, what I do here is I would try to Cade trick this as much as I possibly can. So if you hear them close to the wall, throw your Cade on, boom. They try to mav it, make sure your Cade stays up with the dinosaur grenades. I mean, don't be afraid to replace your Cade. You're there to waste utility and waste time. They want this wall, they'll get the wall open. It's, it's hard to prevent it but we'll be able to waste a decent amount of utility in time, hopefully. And maybe you won't be able to open the wall. We're defending the downstairs site. There's really only two ways uh, that you can use the Cade. And that is very simply just Cade the hatches. So Cade the hatch down here. And you also Cade the hatch down here. Obviously make sure they're reinforced. That's Canal. Uh, so this is Favela. So one main outside wall. This is probably the only time you'll use Cade on this map. I like to throw a cade here, pull the cade here. If they go underneath, can't really get these cades. If they mav a hole in, I mean, they can they can mav the wall soft or mav it in a certain way that they can get the stuff, get the cade calls off, but it will hold out for most things. Oh, that went a little bit too far to the right. Pick that up, very easy to replace, boom. Take off some favela. All right, here we have skyscraper. This is the office site for bomb. So one kid I like to throw is going to be right about here. Throw it here because if they're ever throwing grenades underneath, it will most likely be fine. If they try to blow up, it'll be fine. So then another one I like to do, reinforce this wall. So this one here. So we'll get that wall as well. Do the wall, boom. And uh, both walls will be caded. This cade is easier to take off than the other one. But you try your best to get as far over to the left as you possibly can away from the wall. And you'll probably keep it up longer. They will get this Kate off if they want to like throw utility through the window. They can destroy it if they're underneath and they're like fucking really hard like here's a night show. You'll probably destroy the Kate, but bear with me. They'll be able to see the spots for the Kate from here. They'll be able to take this off if they try really hard, but they'll be very vulnerable when they do this. So execute them. <laughs> okay, now we're on Outback. So when defending the party room site, I would personally try to K-trick this wall the best you can. They'll have it or they'll try to use, do whatever they can to get this wall off. I would just try to K-trick this the best I can if I was holding this site. So they're done, good luck with that but it will slow them down. It will deny time, that's what you're going for there. And then the wall, when you're on this site over here, near the laundry area, checking. <laughs> Most of the time people won't go underneath to deal with this wall. They will nav it open in higher elo, but if it's not higher elo, they will just try to dive a twitch drone or throw grenades into there. So you're gonna want your cade as far from that drone hole as you possibly can have, like so. And that Cade will be the best Cade that you can throw for this wall. You're as far from the drone hole, they throw a grenade through there. Here, we'll sample where the grenade would blow up. Your Cade will be fine. So, that's out back. So, this is for Emerald Plains. Bear with me. I came up with these personally. So, these are the outside walls for the downstairs site by the freezer. I would leave these walls, I, I would reinforce these walls but I probably wouldn't cade them because they're more relevant cades that you can do on site. Maybe have a mute jammer or something on that wall. And I would do this hatch. This hatch is really pivotal. 
because this is going to be the side they can plant behind this bar so you do not want them to take this location and i'll also cage this wall because this wall direct access to the outside from here Boom. all right coming over here we'll leave that kid there that's fine um ba -ba -ba -ba. holding down this room so this room only has really one direct access point which is going to be right here so rotates take a rotate there and keep this wall closed because that is straight shot to the outside they open this wall they have a straight shot they open that like they this is the site like they're like right up in the kitchen that wall is, is hard to defend because there is a drone hole right here like it's i would probably throw the cave on the right side just to get away from the drone hole as much as you possibly can but it will be very hard to hold that off as a cave specifically Went up top to the second floor sites. So there's an outside wall right here. Okay, that wall. That's pretty simple, straightforward. Don't want them to get into this room because the site is in the ceramic gallery. So keep that wall closed. And it does a little pivot, a little, little vault choke point that you can uh, kind of just chill in the hatches. And. The final site is over here by CEO. There's not many things to cade in here besides this wall. If they open this wall, it's incredibly difficult. Because that's that just a banister. They can just kind of walk up into site. Keep this wall closed for the life of you. If you have to cade trick it, so be it. Keep that wall closed the best you can. That's several plans. All right, guys, wrapping up. When you pick cade, you are leaving your electric claws on walls to help keep the walls closed. And you're playing somewhat near sight and playing aggressively, keeping people back while using your AUG or your TSG. Probably don't use a TSG. But the 1.5 allows you to take very aggressive gunfights like you were a dock or something. And uh, the Nitro helps deny the plants or potentially get a freebie kill. So once you use your electric claws, don't be afraid to get a little bit more aggressive. Operators like smoke or like like operators that are like more like hard anchors that need their utility at the end of the rounds are more of an anchor than you are. You can be a little bit more aggressive. If you see an opportunity, don't be afraid to do so. You'll win a lot more rounds. If you see an opportunity, you go for it and it works, you'll win a lot more rounds that way versus waiting a little bit too long and then you just get overwhelmed. So, all right guys, this is my Cade video. There's a lot more places you can put your electric claws. Be creative. Come up with different ideas. I mean, they're all over YouTube. I showed you guys a few. I can go through each individual map, but honestly, that would take a while. I showed you guys some tricky ones, but uh, ones that I use practically all the time. So, hope those those uh, help you guys out. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys. I'm Senvale. I stream every night a week on Twitch. Make sure to stop by, say what's up. Yes, you saw the video. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed the video, if you want a different operator, which operator do you want me to do next? And uh, yeah, we'll we'll do that up. Uh, I'm thinking I'll probably do a do an attacker op next. So uh, let me know what you guys want, right, guys. Until next time, peace out.